Sometimes to achieve a particular stylized effect like this shockwave here, you'll need to take a circle mesh object like this one and turn its UV square shaped. Here's how to do it. First, add a circle mesh to your scene and extrude the edges inwards. Then I'm going to create UV seams on its inner and exterior edges, as well as one line connecting both edges. The reason for this is because I want to make its UVs square shaped to create the desired shockwave effect. Now when unwrapping, do not select the typical angle based option, but rather unwrap minimal stretch. If you look at the result, we already get very close to a squarish or rectangular-ish form. Now select the first edge along its length, right click and select align vertically. Then do the same on the other edge. Then do the same for all of the smaller edges in between except this time when right clicking choose align horizontally. To make it faster I added them to my quick favorites menu. Once I'm done, I'll place the UV map right on the 2D cursor and begin to scale my UV map along the whole grid. It doesn't have to be perfect. Now I'll go back to my shading tab, create a new material, add a wave texture node with a color amp set to a mission node, and most importantly, make sure the texture coordinates are set to UV. Play with your color amp and wave scale settings to create the preferred width of the shock wave. And finally, add another hashtag frame forward slash value driver to the phase offset slider of your wave texture to set up its animation speed. Here's a quick trick for automated animation in Blender. If you type hashtag frame forward slash whatever number you type in, in any value field, Blender will automatically animate it over time. It uses the current frame number, so as you play the timeline, that value updates automatically, no keyframes needed. The higher the value of that number you write, the slower the animation will be. And the lower the value you type, the faster the animation will be. That's one way to create automated animation in Blender.